I loved someone too. And the person I loved, I lost. He was a boy, just a boy, when I was a very young girl. When I was 16, I made the discovery of love all at once and much, much too completely. It was something like you suddenly turn a blinding light on something that had always been half in shadow. That's how it struck the world for me. But I was unlucky. You did. There was something different about the boy. A nervousness. A softness, tenderness, which was unlike a man's. Although he wasn't the least bit effeminate looking, but that thing was there. He came to me for help. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything till after marriage, when we'd run away and come back. And all I knew was I'd felt him in some mysterious way and wasn't able to give the help he needed, but couldn't speak of. He was in a quick sense and clutching at me, but I wasn't holding him out. I was sleeping in with him. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything except I loved him unendurably, but without being able to help him, I helped myself. And then I found out in the worst of all possible ways by coming suddenly into a room that I thought was empty, which wasn't empty, but had two people in it, the boy I had married and an older man who had been his friend for years. Afterwards, we pretended that nothing had been discovered. Yes, the three of us drove out to the Moonlight Casino, very drunk and laughing all the way. We danced up for Sofia now. And the boy I had married suddenly broke away from me and ran out of the casino. A few moments later, shot. I ran out. All did. All ran out and gathered about the terrible thing at the edge of the lake. I couldn't get near for the crowding. Then somebody grabbed my arm. Don't go any closer. Come back. You don't want to see. See what? And then I heard voices say, Alan, Alan, the great boy. He stuck the revolver into his mouth and fired so that the back of his head had to be blown away. It was because on the dance floor, unable to stop myself, I suddenly said, I saw, I know you disgust me. And then the searchlight, which had turned on the world, turned off again and never for one moment since there have been any night which is stronger than this kitchen candle.